I have with me Jack Snail, head of uh, brand partnerships at By the Network, and Abhik Santara, CEO of Atom Network, which is part of By the Network. Are you guys enjoying Cannes so far? Yeah, it's been good. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We're looking forward to today evening. It, yeah, we're yeah, having the party. Yeah, we've got a party. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> yeah, no there. learning. <laughs> Straight to the party. <laughs> exactly. No, we won some um, some good awards as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think collectively our agencies. Um, yeah, I think we had two golds last night. Oh. Um, We've had three silvers and five bronze <laughs> off the top of my head. It's so, looking yeah, good. It's, and a, it's been a pretty short list in total, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is incredible. So I think I calculated it's a 32% of our submissions ended up with shortlists. Oh, that, that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Good so I, I, I remember last year at the same spot, uh, I interviewed Per Perdison, uh, who was the, the father of By the Network, if I can call him so. He was a legend, obviously. His demise came as a shock, uh, but as they say, the show must go on. Tell me, what are the changes uh, in By the Network? I mean, since then, are you operating uh, with a slightly different model, or is there any change for that matter in the way you're functioning today? Yeah, I mean, uh, losing power was obviously, uh, you know, an incredible, incredibly sad and hurtful moment for everyone, and I don't think just people in By the Network as well. People from the old all the networks he represented and all of the clients I knew him as well. I think we really got a sense of the impact that one human being can have on the industry. I think since since we've lost Pear, part of what he's left us is the connection and the culture that brought us together in the first place. So I think that's something that's almost even more powerful these days because it's something that just connects us through not only emotion and as a friend, but also now as a collective of people who believed in the same values that he did. And you want to build on his legacy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and you have a very interesting model. Um, you know, you bring together independent agencies, you bring a, make a network out of this. At the same time, the agencies don't lose their independence. Tell me more about it. How do you actually operate this on ground? Yeah, I mean, we have, I think, 30 agencies in 34 different markets across the world. So we have real scale at the moment. Mm -hmm. They all have different cultures and in independent ways of, of, of attacking different problems. Some of them aren't even creative agencies. They're specialists in digital or uh, planning. We even have an agency in Australia that just does planning. Okay. So it's a real like Swiss army knife that you can put together. But I think the most important thing goes back to what I was saying before. It's the culture and the family environment that brings us together, which enables us to unlock amazing collaboration that we can see between the agencies. You know, another thing is, uh, I think By the Network uh, brought in uh, Adam's, uh, Bix Atom into its fold soon after he launched. Uh, what, what was that special factor that, you know, made you bring him uh, and his agency on board? Yeah, so I can't, I can't talk to bringing Atom on board because they were uh, there before I joined, so, um, but, but from what I know, from what Atom represents, is not only like a complete force of nature in the Indian market, but also just a very agile and inventive agency who, who really, really uh, embrace innovation. Mm -hmm. And that's something that is unparalleled uh, in the market now, from what we've seen so far. So it's been amazing. And also having that global and cultural understanding that, that goes a little bit beyond India as well. Like being able to, to understand like the global brand ideas that we can put together and contribute to those as well has mm -hmm. been has been amazing. So yeah. And and tell me, Abhik, what do what does By the Network give you in return? Oh, there are so many things. One, of course, you know, like you said, we we got embraced by Per right after we joined. So that was a in itself was a huge shot in the arm because he kind of believed what we also believed. Uh, it gives us advantage in so many ways because our creative force get to work on global brands, sitting in Bombay or going outside. And not only that, it's a it's a it's a reverse uh, as uh, true as well because whenever we have certain challenges in the Indian market for Indian brands who are either locally wants to do something or wants to grow global, we can tap into the all the specialist agencies that you know we have in the family. Okay. And you know, and unlike a classical network, uh, the way we work are very different. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's not that we are trying to gain fame share or money share from each other. We are not competing. We are really coming together mm -hmm. uh, for the idea. We are mm -hmm. really coming together to help each other. Okay. Because, you know, we we are not growing against each other. We are growing together. So that's the beauty of it. So the, the, all the vices of our 
classical mm-hmm. net, classical network do not exist with us mm-hmm. and that's what i think makes us great and that's right and how does the revenue sharing work is it an india indian agency working with a uh, agency maybe mehco just mm-hmm. just how yeah, does this do. just <laughs> <laughs> it, it does we we do uh, uh, a lot of work for a lot of individual markets when the entire btn force is not coming even if there are three agencies which are collaborating for a particular market mm-hmm. you know leveraging their individual strengths mm-hmm. uh, we find it and it, there is no fixed number we we work out a number which makes it worthy for everyone's mm-hmm. effort mm-hmm. you know uh, what the of the kind of hours we are putting in yeah. what of the kind of talent we are putting in mm-hmm. and it's it's very transparent it's very uh, you know uh, honest mm-hmm. and uh, and and that's how we do it yeah okay and you want to elaborate on some of your global clients Oh, there have been many. In fact, we started off with Snapchat. Yeah. The entire global relaunch, you know, mm-hmm. was done by four agencies coming together. Mm-hmm. Uh, we worked on Netflix launch, the the Witcher show. Uh, we worked on Amazon Prime yeah. Video together. We are almost on the verge of closing our Alco Web no. client. <laughs> yeah. You know, and we have been doing a lot of market research in India because, like he said, there are a lot of most of the global brands today sees India as a great market. Right. It's a very big market for them. so having a india presence with a with a with an agency which aligns to the vision of the overall global uh, btn you know philosophy mm-hmm. i think is a is a is an advantage that we see a lot of clients buying into yeah so all the best to both of you thank you very much it's <laughs> been a pleasure yeah, yeah and thank you for speaking okay thank you